Hi and welcome to my second video on medical marijuana accessories. Now as I mentioned in the last review, the one on the Aldemay's Wow, I recently quit smoking tobacco, hence the vape sitting here. And that was a bit of a problem for me because I used to like to sit back in the evening, relax, have a joint and a beer and, and just chill out. And uh, I used to smoke joints, so no tobacco, hmm, slight problem. So. I've already started looking at some electronic vaporizers. However, they have to be recharged, they're bigger, and everything else. So I thought I'd take a look at some classic old school pipes. Now, I've owned all of these types of pipes myself uh, over the years. I haven't been using pipes for quite a while, but I think I'm going to get back into it now. So I went hunting and looked for a combination of factors of good quality, and low price. Now, obviously I don't know what the quality is going to be like on these because I haven't opened them yet, but all the reviews and that that I could find and judging by the pictures and everything else, they looked pretty decent. Now, all of these pipes can be bought for much, much higher price. I paid uh, between seven and eight euros for these two that we're looking at, we're going to look at in a moment. Now, the other criteria I looked at, because there's so many different types of pipes, was I wanted to break it down and do this video on small discrete pipes. Now these are the sort of thing that you can put in your pocket to go to the park, go for a walk in the countryside, go to a festival, a friend's house, whatever. These are small pocket pipes. We're not talking uh, big bongs or anything else like that here. So I wanted something that was fairly discreet, convenient, and each of these has their advantages and, and disadvantages. So let's open up the first packet and see what I got. Jesus, tough glue. Aha. Okay, this is what we used to call the, I got some papers in there, some uh, screens in there as well as a free gift. These are what we used to call a sneak -a -toke. Uh, I've also heard them called uh, bat pipes and various other things. Now, what makes these kind of different from what they look like is here you, have your chamber where you uh, put your herb or your hash in. But what makes these cool, literally as well as figuratively, is this. When you take a drag on it, the smoke, because this spiral fits in quite, quite nicely and tightly, and that's actually pretty decent machining, it, it does fit quite nicely, uh, the smoke has to go up through this spiral and that works really well Let's get this out of the way so the camera focuses on me and on that. Okay, so that really helps to cool it down. Uh, you're, it's fairly short, you've got a flame in this end, so you need something to, to uh, cool the smoke down, and that's what this spiral is for. It's a little bit like the theory behind, I don't know if you've ever seen the uh, silver leaf, silver palm leaf pipes. They were popular about 20 years ago. They were a flat one, and they had a sort of zigzag pattern going up through it. So anyway, the great thing about this is you can load it up, preload it, stick it in your pocket, and maybe you're sitting there waiting for the bus or a train or something. You can just get out your lighter and have a quick hit off of it. You know, you're, you're not going to see very much. It's all you, all you really need to have out that and a little bit at the end. Most people just think you were lighting a cigarette. So... Nice and portable. It's got a little lanyard hole in here if you want to put something in and hang it around your neck as well, which is quite a nice touch. Uh, quality on this does seem pretty darn good, actually. I'm quite impressed. Uh, the finish is good. I'm not sure if this is stainless steel or if it's uh, chrome-plated brass. It's got a nice weight to it. But everything goes together very nicely. As you can see, there's, there's hardly any visible seam there when it's uh, threaded together. The top, pretty, pretty nice smooth fit. So these are also nice and easy to clean out uh, because you can get everything apart. And uh, even this part unscrews here so that you can run a pipe cleaner or something right through there. So, all in all, I'm very pleased and impressed with my first purchase. This was 
seven euros 55. I mean, basically a euro, dollar, pound. It, they're close enough at the moment that it, it doesn't make any difference. Now, I have seen these for sale from American or European companies, uh, and I've seen them going for up to 60, 70 euros. And I think that is grossly overpriced, especially with modern machine tools. So anyway, that was choice number one. Choice number two, I used to have one of these. I originally got one back in about 1979, 1980, and I managed to keep it for over 20 years until I either had it nicked or left it at a party. I, I don't know if someone nabbed it or I just had a bit too much to drink or smoke and forgot about it. Again, got a pack of screens. Now, I'm really curious to see this. I, I've really missed mine. And there we go. This is the famous Protopipe. And this was developed back in the 60s. And it's got some really cool features on it. It's a little bit uh, more complicated looking than, than most pipes that you'll see. Now this one was 850. The original Protopipe can still be purchased. The, the guy who used to make them went out of business. He sold the business. Uh, they were made for a while, then folded. Then now someone else is making them. Uh, they have a PP on the cover. Be careful, you, there are fakes. Uh, you can get ones very similar to this uh, that have got the PP stamped in it and they're, they're not the original ones. The original ones are about 80, 90, yeah, about 80, 80 dollars, 80 euros. And this one was 850 and it's almost identical. Now the way these things work, if you haven't ever seen one of these before, you've got your bowl up here. Now they they say <clears throat> they say, oh it's got a permanent filter in it. Now you want to put some filter uh, uh, mesh in there, uh, otherwise you're going to have a real nightmare keeping it clean and everything. Now one, you've got your nice little cap you can put over, stops you getting ash in your pocket, also means you can immediately shut off the smoke and stick it in your pocket if someone's coming along. Now the other thing that's pretty obvious is you've got this big tube in the middle and this is what's really cool about it. Now this is a bit fiddly and this, I haven't done this in years. Okay, you pull this little thing out. This is actually a cleaning and disassembly tool. Okay, I'll just put that down here for now. Now this just unlocks and this is your stash, stash box. So you can put some hash, weed, whatever you want in there and take it with you. And the rest of it is just a plain pipe with one more trick. Now one thing, if you do buy one and don't use the links that I'll provide below, uh, make sure that it has this cut in it. Okay, you see that diagonal cut here? Okay, the other ones have got a thread on them and they are useless. The way this is designed is it all holds itself together. It, it's a sort of integrated unit. If you get the ones the way it screws on, what happens is it just unscrews in your pocket and the whole lock just falls apart and you lose it. Now with this, you lock that in place, then you put this in and this spring here that you see there locks onto that and then the whole thing is now, this can't come out because of the spring tension and this can't rotate because of the cleaning tool. So, cool. One last thing I'll, well, one thing I'll mention. One problem with these is you tend to lose these tips. Yeah. Now you can actually buy them provided the, the ones for the original pipes will fit. However, what you want to do is get a small piece of plastic tubing like fish tank tubing or silicon tubing uh, and just stick that over there. I mean, you can get a, a foot of it, 30 centimeters of it for about, you know, 20 cents or something, 20 pounds. Uh, so it's enough to make loads of these in case you lose it. Now one problem people have with these who don't, if they didn't know what they were doing, and uh, is that they complain that they clog up and they're useless. Well that's because they didn't read the instructions. Now this cleaning tool, what you do with it is you put it through there and then you tap, ah, and you tap it against the table and this comes out and this is a, a resin trap and it gets all the tar and everything in here which makes it easier to clean and to put it back together again you line up the two dots 
you have to have it lined up because there, I don't know if you can see it, that right there is where the tube that you're drawing through comes in and it, it needs to connect with that hole in here. So you have to line up the dots and this one's, this one's really good and it just pops back into place like that. There's a little rubber gasket around or a silicon o-ring around here that, that holds it into place. And that is very, very nice. Um, it's much nicer than I expected. And let's pop that off again. Let's see what's inside there. Okay, it, I don't know whether this is... I think this is actually solid brass. It looks like it. I have got a nail here. I didn't want to do this on the top where it was visible. Uh, so I just want to scratch in here. Okay, as far as I can tell, this actually is... This actually is brass. Uh, I was wondering if it was possibly uh, just plated, bra uh, sort of some kind of alloy with uh, some brass plating on it, but it does actually appear and feel by the weight as if it's genuinely uh, solid brass. So all in all, I would rate that as a very good buy. It's exactly the same as my old prototype, and I have about over 20 years with it. So. I've had over 20 years experience with my old pro pipe. So excellent, excellent little pipe. I'm very pleased with it. It's solidly made. It's exactly identical to my, my old one. So excellent. Now, last of all, let me move this over here. Last of all, this one's mine. I didn't buy it just now. I've had this for quite a long time. And this is your classic spoon pipe. Uh, this one's a particularly nice one. It's made of uh, Murano glass. And uh, I bought it to sort of kill the pain of my losing my protopipe. And uh, it's an absolute work of art. Now, glass pipes have got quite a following. Some people say that they have a, a cleaner taste. I can't tell any difference between them. But one thing about glass pipes is that they you can get them anywhere from just a few euros, a cheapo one. Uh, or you can get absolute works of art like this, uh, or even more elaborate than this, so which you don't get with, with metal pipes. Now, the advantage to this is uh, it feels very nice in the hand. It's got a bigger bowl than the others. Uh, you've got your carburetor on the side. The way they work is you inhale, light it, and when it's going well and you're just about to finish taking your hit, you take your thumb off, and all the uh, smoke that's inside the pipe comes out in one, one go. So the, these, this isn't something I'd really carry around. For one thing, this was really, really expensive. I uh, bought it in Venice, and uh, it cost a lot of money. And glass pipes are kind of fragile, which is why I concentrated mainly on this section on, on this type of pipe here. So anyway, you've got your session pipe for the taking to a festival or something, or your friend's house. Keeps your stash from getting nicked by somebody if you leave it on the table. Uh, you've got this for, for a really uh, sneaky quick toke. And then you've got this for something with a little more class and style. Okay, I have field tested all of these and uh, very good results. This little guy did a sterling job and it's, it gets pretty toasty up to about here. Uh, it's not something you'd want to pass around, but then again, because of the capacity, you're not going to be passing it around. And the smoke was cooler than I expected or remembered from my old one, so very nice. And uh, the finish held up nicely. Quick polish with probably a bit of alcohol to take the, that off, but no problem. The prototype, prototype did a very nice job as well. Very nice, cool smoke for the size of the pipe. And I did do some testing back at the house, and... Uh, scratched into some bits that you can't see uh, quite deeply with a with a knife point and it does appear to be solid brass it, it looks a bit gaudy and goldy but I think that's just because it's been brightly polished and then it's been 
coated with lacquer, which will eventually wear off, or you could probably remove it yourself, at which point it'll take up the sort of patina and more natural uh, brass color than this. And the glass pipe, of course, it had the coolest uh, smoke. I'd rate these as both four out of five, and that is five out of five. But then again, you've got a much bigger area. The whole inside of this pipe is in contact with the smoke. Glass is a good conductor, so it draws the, the heat out very nicely and that's going to give you a cool smoke. However, they are fragile and if you get a nice one like this, they are expensive so it's not really something you want to carry around and, and take too many places. This is more of a stay-at-home pipe. Uh, so if you want a, a convenient pipe for taking out, I really recommend these two. I'll post some links at the end of the description on where to get them and yeah, very pleased with them. So, until next video, happy smoking and good luck.